Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. So thank you Chaos Vinya for stopping by. Appreciate it. Let's have a quick chat. So, we're at the end of the game. I was contemplating one thing, I think I'm just gonna go for it. So I noticed my damage was very low versus the other bosses. So even though I feel like we're literally maybe two or three bosses from the end of the game, I think I'm gonna go back and get the weapon upgrades. So this will be like one of the only times we use the escape rope, which is kind of a shame. I wish I knew that it was going to teleport me out of the Benevidons when we were done with them. Uh, but we're going to do that and I think get some weapon upgrades. So hopefully instead of doing only 40 to 50 to a boss, I'm doing closer to 80 to 90, potentially doubling my damage output. I might be able to afford one extra piece of armor on one of the characters. And I think that'll help just switch overall survivability between there and the end of the game anyway. Because we've seen werewolf plus ninja equals BS. So if I could do anything to reduce the damage at this point, I'll take it. But I'm not going to grind any more money. What I will do, though, is probably get into just a couple fights just to even out my money total, and then we're going to teleport out. But if it looks dicey, I'm just going to try to escape rope. At least I'm assuming I can escape rope out. I never actually tried. So let's go ahead and pause the music. And then we'll go into the game itself. Uh... It also doesn't hurt to just restock my items since I'm here. Although I could have waited a little bit, I suppose. How many cups of wishes do we have between now and the end of the game? Because whatever I have, I have to beat the game with. Because I don't think I'm going to do that much more shopping. Oh, I have 23. Never mind. Even if I somehow burn 9, nine per boss, I think I'll still have enough. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to... Get our money total a little more even. So we're at 63,000. Let's go for 65,000. Armor is only about 2,000-ish. So if we can get even just... or It's about 5,000-ish. So I think between getting like an upgraded weapon and then a non-upgraded weapon, I potentially could end up with what I need to beat the game. So I'm hoping that killing these guys is going to be good enough. And if I happen to be close to leveling after that, that's kind of whatever. My intent is to not power grind at all. I'm just looking to clear this up for a little bit of extra cash. I mean, if this is a ch if this is a seed, okay. I don't think it'll be relevant to be honest with you. But it could be amusing. So we're a little shy of sixty five thousand. I think I'll just take it then. At least I could say I tried. I tried to get money. Plus, I'll get money from selling my weapons. So maybe that'll afford me some armor. I'll see if I regret this choice or not later on. But at least I tried. Let's go ahead and just magic rope out of here. And then I can forever replace the magic rope with something, as well as Flammy's drum, technically. I really don't want to fight the ninja. I'm just going to leave. So in theory, I could go to the, the night market to get more healing items total, but I don't feel like that's required due to us having a healer. If I was really desperate and we didn't have AoE heals, I'd probably do it. Also, it's probably faster for me to go like this. I need to think that the world is... uh able to wrap on itself. So I'm going to hope with this little bit of extra gold selling our equipment, we should be good to go. I could technically kill this thing for the last bit of gold. We did not need that much, to be honest. So I'm going to kill this thing for the last bit of gold then, actually. Don't really care about the XP. We're probably not going to level more than once if I had to guess between now and the end of the game. But I do want my money. It's the last little bit of cash, and then uh, we should be good. Yeah, so right now she's doing 218 ish. Assuming he's already dead. Yeah, I had a feeling.
Kaiser mimic? How awful is this thing? I mean, I'm kind of go I'm going to kill it out of curiosity if this is even worth killing. So we're a little shy of 65,000. So let's buff needs a haircut, and then why don't we use you to heal, and then we should be good. I mean, I might as well just fight the upgraded mimic, which I forgot was the thing. But yeah, the odds of us hitting level 30 by the end of the game are pretty much zero. Even even if every boss leveled me, I still would not be close. But I am vaguely curious. Why can I not hit this thing? I wonder why I keep sheathing my weapon and unsheathing. That actually makes that way harder than that should be. Okay, it wasn't really worth a lot. Was he? Did he give a lot of money? He put us at exactly 6,500. I, I think that is a sign that it was meant to be chat. Welcome in Parameter, hope you're doing well. I would like to not fight any of this. I'd like to just move on, thank you. I'm not having a big heap and a no thanks on that one. So let's see. Game, please. Where is this character? Oh, jeez. They're so far off screen for no reason. So we have basically the perfect amount of money. So it'll cost 32,000 times two if I really wanted this. How badly do I want her damage? Okay, let's start with getting the gun year. Because I, I care about the the Valkyrie's damage. In theory, I could get this if I sell all my stuff. It might not be worth doing it for Charlotte. Over getting like an armor. I have to, I have to make a tough call here, chat. Because I really prefer damage, but if the damage is not a significant difference, it's not worth it. Yeah, like her getting almost 50 points of damage there. I think is absolutely a game changer. She's only doing 40, making her do double damage and it will get applied by strength would be pretty huge. So I could sell the spear. I'm going to decide based off of how much the other one stat boosts. So even with that, I'm not quite able to get it. So then what we're going to do, as long as she gets one upgrade, I think I'm okay. So this is fine. What this means is I now have 1500 to get armor. Make my life less annoying with healing. So let's go ahead and go to the... Oh wait, I think I can't do what I was going to do. I think I have to sell them se separately. I think. I forget. Whatever. I'm going to commit. I'm going to swap equipment now. I would have liked to have waited a little bit, but I don't recall if the other shopkeeper would take the items. So, you know, it's not a huge stat increase. I don't expect to do a lot of damage with her, but it should be at least a little better. And what I can do is play as her to see what the difference is. If the difference is only four points, I don't think I really care. I'm just curious. Yeah, only four points. Yeah, that's fine. She's basically as strong as the spear user was. And then still does 10 damage more. So I think that's more than good enough at this point. So we're going to just get our last little armor upgrade so I don't have to hopefully not get one shot anymore. Which is kind of stupid because I already have pretty good armor. I even have like the the second best uh, accessories. But yeah, I could get another upgrade here. So 8,000 for that. Helmet is 7 defense. Not really worth it. I guess the question is... I guess I should put it on Durin. Do I skip getting it on Valkyrie and actually give it to the girl is the question. Because I think if she gets more defense, she'll stop getting one shot. That's what the, the trade-off is. So right now, I can afford to get this for her. Let, let's do this. The other character at least has decent HP. Durin being able to survive at higher numbers is more important to me, because I'm probably going to be using him to force 
What was that? Being able to force uh, his way through things. So taking 17 less might make a difference? Because he already can survive stuff, but if I can avoid getting comboed into stuff, it would be nice. So we're going to sell the armor, and then I'm going to go to... Oh, actually it was there already. I'm going to do this. Is this literally enough to get every armor upgrade that I want? No. It's ri How close is it, though? It's got to be real close. Then I need a thousand. Can I sell something for a thousand? Everything does not sell for that much. That is such a shame. I'm gonna play as the Valkyrie just to see if I could get like any amount of extra defense. If not, it's fine. She already can survive without getting one shot. So I could give her six defense. Instead of nothing. I guess I'll go for it. So she's almost at the same defense total that uh, Durin is. So that's fine, I think. So we'll sell our item and then I'm gonna rest. And then we're not gonna use money for the rest of the game. So I guess in a way, the 2400 just made it... It was a little unnecessary to acquire, technically. But at the same time, it made trading faster, so I don't think I have a regret there. Because otherwise, I'd have to sell every single time I bought something, whereas I was able to buy everything then sell. I mean, I guess I could save the game just to humor before I do the pool. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to sleep and then save. I technically got more mystery seeds. It, I don't think it'll matter, sadly, in our playthrough at all. But I'll humor the game. So yeah, I think that 20-minute prep, even though it might not have been worth it from a time perspective, I think for a sanity purpose, Curse Bottle... I think that's what I wanted for her. It probably gives me, like, Necromancy or something. But I got double the same item. That is so stupid. I forgot that was a thing. I'll be real with you. Wait, it gave me two of the same mystery seed? Well, I'm glad I saw that, because that I'm absolutely going to complain about in the playthrough. When we go to give our final thoughts. Stupid. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is, I guess, I will replace our rope with the midge mallet to save myself some time. And then let's just continue onwards. I'm assuming I can't shortcut here. Unfortunate. So I think based off of who we are, the final destination we go to is different. I can state very firmly I did not go to the Dark Castle in my playthrough. And I played this uh, privately. So it's interesting that at least the final dungeon itself is different. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and swap this out. Actually, I want this menu, surprisingly. So let's get rid of this. We'll do Midge Mallet so we have another way of getting rid of something that's bad for us. Oh, the delay. So just in case we're shrunk, I can speed it up, maybe. I probably want Stardust or looking at my list. Oh, I already got nine. Okay. We'll do, instead of, instead of Midge Mallet, we'll bring Minor Mallet, I guess it's called. So that way we have basically everything that we need. I technically don't need the, uh... Why don't I see it in here? Oh, I already got rid of it. I don't need the drum anymore. I could turn this into... Am I allowed to get more bumpkin? No. I guess I can't stack multiples, that would have been easy. Um, Does it matter? I don't feel like it does. I have a lot of Siren Claws. 
Guess I'll put it there, just in case. I don't recall what it does offhand. Oh, wind weapon. Eh. I mean, I guess it's a faster stat buff on my way through, I guess. Yeah, so now we're doing like 36 and 86s. So the, the monster's taking like reasonable damage from us. So again, even if they don't have a weakness, oh, I think I'm about to get AoE blasted. Oh, but we killed them because we had enough DPS. That's always nice. Not bad. I would really prefer not to do anything with that enemy. So all we gotta do is get to the end. So I think this is where we were a moment ago. I'm just gonna safety heal. So everybody's defense is higher, their damage overall is better except for Durin's. I could just use a Siren Claw just to get more damage here. I don't think it really matters who I give it to. Because if nothing else, it's a small attack increase. As long as they're not resistant to it. Oh, of course they're healing off of it. That sucks. I wasn't sure if they were Dark Element or not. So Siren Claw, pretty useless here then, because that would have been like the only chance I would have used it. Unfortunate. I mean, it makes sense the dragon has, you know, Wind Element, but you never know in this kinds of games. Oh, I can't swap my items out. That really sucks. Hmm. I think I will still strength up our group here, because I would like this to not take an eternity pushing through. So we'll strength up Durin, slash needs a haircut. Hopefully this is good enough. So we seem to be killing at least at a somewhat decent pace. I'll give them that. I'll heal ourselves, and if they happen to get a kill while we're waiting, that's fine. Go to the next room. Yeah, I'd like to not deal with these. I think we're going the right way. Okay, that was pretty good. Listen, chat, we took a break in between, so I'm like, me remembering how to get through this area is like a miracle. Short-term memory is not that great. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That wasn't too bad, at least in terms of backtracking. So we'll save here. And whatever we got here, we're going to try to beat the game with. So hopefully with the higher defense values, just in case the next area has stronger versions of Werewolf and Ninja, we don't get one shot. Let's make some progress. Oh, I like the little invisible path here. I am trapped, but I can go out this way if I want to. Ooh, I don't know what that was. Alright, so it looks like there's forced encounters pretty much no matter what, so I'm kind of glad already that I went back. If this was just went straight to the boss, I would have said it would have been less worth our time. But this is fine. So again, we didn't die instantly as the healer. We took a lot of damage, but we didn't die. Or I did die, and I just got cheated. Cool, never mind. Take that back, I guess. I guess I got killed while healing, and it doesn't count when I heal myself. I suppose that's fair. So I guess I needed to have somebody else throw an item at me, even though I'm casting. Hmm. Okay, we're learning the limitations live of the death cancel. So not even spell casting on yourself will save you. Uh, this feels like a room that doesn't go anywhere. Let's try the other side. Ooh, that's promising. 
They're level 43 now. We can stun lock the little wolf for the most part, which is nice. Oh no. Less nice, less nice. Why don't you strength up? Needs a haircut, and then. Why don't you heal everybody? Because he already has our best DPS. I only need a couple more hits, I think, here. This is the safety heal in case he's about to AoE us here. Okay, this should kill. We're in a position where I can hit every monster on the screen, so that's nice. 530 versus 300 damage. That's a big damage increase. This feels promising. We're getting multiple paths. We climb stairs. Ooh, we're outside again. This, this feels very final two bosses to me. That last minute save. Okay. So armor helped a little bit, even if it doesn't come up again in the future. Made a small impact. Wormwood is the name of the dragon thing. Do you mind buffing me? I think I could get this kill pretty easy. I'm just going to activate it now. Yeah, Dern being strength up definitely saves a lot of time. Case in point. Oh, I actually managed to level. That's good. Uh, let's get additional stamina. So he should be above 600. Enchantress level. Sadly, can't get any more in strength. Can't get any more in spirit. I guess I'll get stamina. Maybe it'll matter. Valkyrie also leveled. Sadly, can't get strength or stamina. So I guess I'll just raise spirit for now, which might give us some resistances. Actually, you know what? Let's do intelligence. Give ourselves other sets of resistances, because I think it's kind of split between like intelligence equals elemental resists, and then like summons and stuff is spirit. So might as well spread it out a little, our resistances. So I think as long as we buff like this, we should be fine. Please let me swap into the other character. Oh, because I can only swap one way, I couldn't skip her. It's annoying. I like that he canceled my special attack, even though I was mashing it. I would just like to state what BS if I'm about to die here. Wow, that is so BS. So if you're wondering what happened there, he somehow went before me, even though I hit it like at least three seconds before I saw him do it. Then it made me go into the animation, and because I was in the animation, I couldn't heal myself. Man, this irritates me, chat. This really does. <laughs> Stuff like that is just BS. I love that I died with armor upgrades, by the way. Thanks, game. I mean, I have to take a fight at some point, I would imagine, just to level again. See, the problem is, like, I can't cleanly swap into who I want to because of the fact that, like, I'm in a fixed order. So because of that, it maybe plays the girl and then wait. Whereas I just wanted to play as, like, the, the healer and try to move on. But due to the fact that it put me in a set order, it strength up Durin and then it combo locked me. That was really stupid. Now they're not going to die as cleanly. This really sucks. I don't think the level up matters as much. It's just like, it would be nice if I had more spare HP. So yeah, see that didn't level us this time because it was worth less XP overall. Just going to... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to push forward. So sad. I love I died on that level up too. This is so stupid. And I couldn't, just so you know, I, I couldn't item or do anything because the game registered me pushing the special button because I thought it would just come out instantly. So it screwed me over pretty badly there. Um, guess I'll just pick a path. We're doing four damage. Wow. Okay.
Well, I'm gonna try to kill these to move forward. Cancel some of the casting animation. This should also cancel some of our animations. So I'm hoping with some strength ups they could at least hurt these enemies a little bit. I could just use a Siren Claw on myself now, just because it is free damage, potentially. Hmm... I don't like that our allies are targeting different enemies. I thought I told them to help each other. Ooh, that's potentially some good damage thanks to Strength Up. So we're back in the same position as before. I'm going to give her Intelligence. To give her maybe some Magic Resistance. Yeah, there's like sometimes it glitches when I hit left and right and it doesn't give me the level up that I'm able to do. I wonder why that happens. I have to like make it go past and then go back to it. It's really weird. Like there. How- why didn't it go straight to stamina? Is it because- oh! Oh! Wait, up and right do the same thing. Never mind. I thought I knew what was happening there, but never mind. Anyway, extra health. So killing them did open a path. I guess I should have expected that there'd be more of a dungeon. Need to remember since I'm her, I have to hit the same button twice, not swap between allies. <sighs> Force encounter again. So we could see our damage is falling pretty far behind at this point. Why can't I... Game, can you please stop arbitrarily not letting me cast? That drives me wild. I'm gonna do this to interrupt him so we don't get blasted by something. Did that say 330 damage? If so, that's actually significant damage improvement for us here. 254? That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna keep spamming that. We need this guy to die before he does his other attack. So being able to do basically two melee worths of moves and stun lock him is pretty big. So that's the moon orb. I don't know if that absorbs HP or absorbs MP. Hopefully not like to find out. Okay, so we're probably not going to level again until the boss, which is fine. So I can't go up the stairs, but I could go this way. Can I go through the door without fighting? Good, okay. Demon is here. I did literally one damage. Holy. So I have, I have like the second best possible weapon I can purchase in the game, and I did one damage. Holy, that is unfair. Yeah, I think it definitely expects me to be able to debuff them or something. It's kind of unfortunate. So we don't have that ability. Okay, at least with strength up, we do a reasonable amount of damage. So 100% now, zero regrets getting stronger weapons. Uh-oh. I was not expecting an AoE from him. How much is he about to do? You know what? That was really weak compared to the other BS that we have to deal with. I'll take 180 AoE as opposed to the 450-something AoE. All right, so I picked up a random chest. Gear Seed. Oh, maybe that's to actually get, like, better endgame items. That's unfortunate. I don't think I'm gonna go back and unlock that. So maybe that would have been, like, the true final equipment for the character class. So maybe I do have to kill everything here? 
I'm gonna use one MP because it's cheaper. Yeah, that did 229 for one MP. That is absolutely worth it for me. All you gotta do is buff yourself and hopefully we could go down these stairs. So we're actually using her magic surprisingly for damage. Hoping between the two of them they can kill the swords. I'm just gonna focus the knight so he doesn't get a chance to do anything. Just putting him in the stun animation seems to help. I can't target him anymore, so I think he died, yeah. Come on, allies. Finish this up. I did the same damage as they did with the power attack. Oh. That didn't unlock another area. Where am I supposed to go then? What? This sucks. This is just a side area? I don't... Uh... Irritating. <laughs> like, chat, all I want to do is get to the boss. Like, I, I do not want to take these fights. But given that we seem to need to do them to advance, that's really unfortunate. So over here was just a big waste of time. I don't do anything here. Thanks, game. Don't appreciate that level design for sure. I guess I'll go to the right then. Because I can't go through the door. I killed the demon, but it doesn't seem to have unlocked anything there. I'm assuming when I kill the next boss, it'll open a shortcut for me. Why can't I select her? Hello? She... But... What, what was she in, like, frame one of her attack? She wasn't even leaning forward. What was that? <laughs> it's like... I was like, the first thing I tried to do is before she attacked, stop it. And then it was like, oh, we can't, we can't allow you to do that. That would make too much sense. No, it's fun. I was attempting to enter the ring menu, but it wasn't allowing me for some reason. There we go. I'm assuming they're not wind elements, so this is just free damage up. Hopefully this kills the sword, but it's kind of unlikely. Oh, the other enemy wasn't triggered yet. Hmm. Cancel this attack. That did okay damage. So sadly, as I said before, I don't know where to go. So I'm just gonna be playing pick a path. I hope that our buffs last long enough to deal with them. I've hit my special button, by the way, so I'm expecting it to activate randomly. Oh, no! Our AI friend somehow pressed it even before me. Cool. I mean, that's fine. I just want this fight to end. We won again. So I might be forced to finally use a walnut here because I'm constantly buffing and healing. So this just looks like a mirror the other side, or did I have to fight all of them to advance? Hmm. It's not filling me with confidence. I hate when the enemy still goes first, even though I definitely cast before they did. I hate that so much. So yeah, at least we could say that Twinkle's spells were finally useful, because I was not using them for a majority of the game, but stunlocking this stupid enemy is absolutely worth it. I'll take the 1 MP loss. He's not dead. Oh, this is the bullied death. 
So yeah, hopefully we finish things off here without needing to do more. Allies, please just kill them. I, I know you have the ability to, thank you. So we're just gonna full heal so we don't get cheesed by anything. So my armor is decent. Presumably if I had upgraded to another class, I would have had slightly stronger weapons. So I'm gonna kill yet another demon. Hopefully this unlocks something by killing both. And that this is mandatory and wasn't just a big waste of time. Because both of these rooms lead to dead ends. Oh, I just can't select her again for some reason. Thank you, game. Can you... Oh. My game, please. Did they really think it was that broken if I attack cancel my animation with the spell? Hopefully I could do some damage here. Might have to all heal myself, but I feel like he's almost dead. Alright, that time of it's... Well, I heard a door open, but nothing happened. Another gear seed. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I officially don't know what to do unless this opened a door in the center. We've- I've- I've willingly killed every single enemy wave. I have not seen another exit. I don't see anything I can interact with either. So, kind of getting annoyed at the game at the moment. It, I can't do anything with the statues. I've tried interacting with them. I'm assuming something is different now in the center room. Ah, uh, the flames are now gone up the stairs. Okay, so I think I did have to kill both of them. It's fine. Path is open. I might just leave and save if the save was right there. I'm trying to recall. So I, oh, I can also go down the stairs there. Hmm. Is this leading to a save room or? Oh. I I can't I can't get through this. Was this just a, was this just just here to taunt me? Can't interact with the sword. I'm just making sure it wasn't just like, oh, you didn't hit the obvious switch or something. Nope. No amount of pressing against stuff or mashing A seems to make any difference. Okay, well, I would like to save so that we don't have to do this again, but we'll see what happens. I guess I could check what's down the other set of stairs. Oh, interesting. Those are still locked by flame. Hmm. I would like to save the game. <laughs> I don't mind backtracking. Oh, no, no, now I do mind. Never mind. I thought there was one right before the area. Never mind. I guess it was two rooms before. I don't want to go through werewolves. Werewolves are the only thing I will not backtrack through. Like, no thanks. We'll just move forward then. Mm. Can I just bypass these and enter the door here? Yes. I will... That is so rude to attack me while I'm off screen. That is very rude. Let's heal. So I guess I'm just looking to kill demons and that advances the plot. Blame, I can't do anything about that. Unless it seriously wants me to kill stuff in this room. Yeah, this one seems more likely that the plot will advance if I go this way. So we'll strength up Durin slash needs a haircut again. I am mashing the the menu to use the spell, but they lock me out. Cool. Love it. I love being locked out of menus. That feels real fun. I 
definitely like it when the game feels unresponsive to my commands. It's my favorite. So hopefully I'm gonna get a last second heal here so I don't need to worry about their HP. I am worried about the Dark Knight that's here. Let's use another pump up on Twinkle, I think. Now I'm gonna unleash her super now that it does damage. Okay, bonked him, which is what I was looking to do. Wait, okay, that might be enough damage. I'm gonna try just normal striking him a couple times. That looked good enough. Oh, that was a that was good enough to level again. Huh. Okay, well I'm gonna get more intelligence to reduce elemental damage. Okay, I was not expecting to level again before the boss. Oh, that was really awkward timing. I think we can all agree, Chad, it was literally in the middle of moving when that happened. Game. Oh, the, uh. Level up, please. Um, I'll give him more resistance to elemental damage, I guess. So yeah, definitely unexpected from my side. I did not think I would hit 35. But then again, I also didn't think we would be doing this many rooms before a boss, or that this many fights were mandatory. So I guess in a way, the game has won. Since it is forcing me to level because I don't know the way through. I'm gonna have safety heal right now. Make sure everybody's HP, including mine, is topped. Why am I missing constantly? Game, please. Activate, activate, activate. Okay, that's good. Just want to make sure the knight doesn't do his AoE. We're slowly getting resistances to... That's not who I wanted to target. That is really unfortunate, actually. Oh, it didn't use it up, though. How is that who I was targeting? How? In what world was the bottom left the guy was targeting? I'm happy he died. But yeah, that was kind of silly. Oh my gosh, how many force encounters are there? I will state, I n the other dungeon that I did, I don't think forced any encounters like this. So this is most unfortunate as it were. So I'm hoping that literally maybe one more demon slaying and then we're at a boss. If we're not after this, I'm actually going to start getting really annoyed. Because I'm not ex- this is now about as long as the other cave was. But not in like a really fun way either. Like it's just forcing me to use a lot of resources with no healing for quite a while. Couldn't heal because they were in the casting animation. Fortunately, it did not target our most heal character. Just so Chad is aware, that entire time that I was meleeing, I'm like menu, 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 menu. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Right, whatever's still alive, hopefully this just kills them. How did he get a spell out? Excuse me. Well, he got more elemental resist, I guess. That was one of the most delayed deaths I have ever seen. Everybody was already dead, they just didn't know it yet. Another gear seed. I mean, if there was like a planner box at the end dungeon, that would have been convenient. But now, knowing that we would have to fight our way through this entire place again, I don't see why I would bother with uh, the gear seeds, sadly. We needed to get those when I was in like the other village or when I was going through the first area. So really unfortunate we seem to be getting endgame items when I'm not planning on going back at all because there's just no way I'm walking through this entire dungeon again given how deep it is. Well welcome Dango. Hopefully you're doing well. You love the unexpected jank of a game. I just want to leave. <laughs> like chat. Oh my, I'm I'm out. No thanks. If we hit 500 HP with uh, Twinkle, that's nice. Is 
there's a door there and over here. Is this like a real save statue or a trap? Hmm, I can't go that way for some reason. So maybe I had to kill more to unlock the left path. Oh well, don't care. Let's just get to a boss. This feels very boss roomy. Full Metal Hugger is here. Oh! We're doing a refight. Interesting. I guess I'll try to stall with Chestnut here? Um... What would Full Metal Hugger's weakness be, if anything? Would he be considered Earth-type? Would wind weapons actually be useful here? I mean, I guess I could find out. It is 15. He'll stop me from casting spells, because of course he will. Uh, strength up on myself. And then I can win weapon myself to see if this works. So let's see if this heals him or does enhance damage. I mean, I am doing more damage. So I think I would have to reapply the buff if I do this. I mean, I might as well use it if he seems to be taking more. And then just reapply the strength ups, I think. That way we could say I tried to use boss weakness, maybe. Okay, so he got powered up. That's basically as much as he's gonna do. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Game. Thank you. Uh... Out of curiosity. The coin did 212? That did a lot of damage, actually. Huh. Why am I... Okay, there we go. It was, like, not letting me swap menus for some reason. I don't know if it's just being stuck or weird. Let's use a special attack here. Yeah, I don't think it has an elemental weakness. At least it doesn't seem to. But might as well just we try. That's the important thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna heal because fi if 500 HP is not enough to survive a single attack. I don't know what to say. We'll just take the damage. <laughs> just gonna throw a coin at you. Oh, I went to cancel the animation by using special. Oh, there we go. It is a little scary to be the healer, because that means I'm... I could just die? I think I actually need to be Durin here. So that way I could cast my magic without interruption. Because the problem is, is like, if I need to die... Seriously? Okay, that really that really pisses me off. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, all I wanted to do is swap characters and heal, and the game is like, I'm immediately gonna lock you out. I'm just like, no mercy, no heal. I'm like, I swear, if I die because the AI melees, I'm gonna lose my mind. So that feels pretty unfair. I'm not gonna lie. That I just randomly don't have access to my own abilities. 
Okay, well, hopefully this boss is not super tanky. But it feels like we're doing decent damage. So maybe, like, roughly every five to six seconds, we're doing about a thousand damage. So imagine it should be dead soon. Our DPS looks pretty good. When it does this, I could take an opportunity to heal, I guess. I'd really prefer to not have to heal again, but we'll see what happens. Well, I think that was timed perfectly. I'm about to take the AoE and heal it immediately. So it looks injured. Did it just heal itself before I healed myself? How is that fair? What a jerk. I'm gonna hopefully not need to heal more than once so I can avoid using a walnut, but we'll see what happens. Let's undo its heal with one spin slash. I'm out of healing. It's gonna force me to use a walnut. I feel like it's gonna die, but at the same time, I don't feel like being greedy when we have so many walnuts. It just doesn't make sense. We have like 10 more or something. I might as well just burn it. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling we were close. I just wasn't sure if we were like one strike close or if it was going to get a super out. I'm going to play it safe there. Congratulations, boss. You forced me to use a walnut because there was no healing right before you. Um, Chad, I have a question. Why didn't I get sent to full HP? <laughs> Why am I at 614 out of 621? Are you feeling okay there, Trials? That's not full HP. So I can't go anywhere in the room. I guess I have to go backwards. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna come up the left side of the stairs that I saw earlier? Oh, there's a hidden... Oh, that's stupid. There's just like a hidden exit over there that didn't seem to have a visual indicator. I don't really want to fight anything here if I don't have to, so I'm just going to move on. Don't really have any benefit from leveling at this point, unless it opens a doorway. Let's buff needs a haircut. I can force him to focus on the uh, mage, which is good. Strength up yourself. Just need like one or two more good hits and spin slash should finish most of the room. Nice, that's exactly who I wanted her to target. Unfortunate, he cast a spell right as I was about to do this. That's fine. I didn't do that much. Big damn it. Did you just AoE me while I hit you? Well, that's just incredibly rude. Wait, that didn't open. Oh. Oh, there was a switch here. Oh, I actually didn't see it because our health total was there. See, that time you could have blamed me for missing the quote unquote obvious switch, but I did not like how close that was to our status bar when we were fighting. Uh, I guess I could look around for more switches. I just activate this and leave? Oh, I can't activate it in combat, sadly. And there's also another path down here. Is it even worth taking is the question I'm asking myself. Can't use my buffs again. Seriously? Thank you. So many spell casting? Why was I not able to heal? Oh, it's just really delayed, I guess. Oh well. As long as I can still heal, don't lose a character here, it'd be nice. 
So maybe we will hit level 36. I was not ever expecting to get this high level for sure. one enemy left, so I have to go fight him. So unfortunate, chat. <laughs> Out of curiosity, no chuffs. And all that was just for a dead end, seriously? Man, chat, I don't like this dungeon at all. Between mandatory fights and lots of dead ends, absolutely not a fan. Could you imagine leaving this dungeon and coming back, how horrific it would be to backtrack through this place? All the forced encounters, potentially. I'm just gonna go through here. I'm going to assume I don't need to hit the switch here, but we'll see, I suppose. Please just let me go through the door. Okay, yeah, this is promising. I can skip this area. Where is the exit? Oh my god. Is this the treasure room we saw earlier? Oh my gosh, I remembered. Honey elixir. That was it? That was a reward for remembering there was a treasure here? Wow. I do not feel rewarded, chat. Not even slightly. <laughs> I mean, it's the best healing item, but it's like... Man... Yeah, that'll last us like a room, maybe. Do I have to fight anything here? I'm hoping not. Uh, looks like I do. Unfortunate. Have you buff yourself as well? I don't know what it's doing. Please don't transform me. It put me at one HP. Well, that's incredibly rude. Hey, remember how I said the healing item would last one room? <laughs> yeah, that, that felt pretty unfair. Not gonna lie, on a scale of one to unfair, that felt really unfair. Oh, I died. Of course I did. Even though I was casting heal. Cool. I did level to 36. Guess I could just raise spirit in case they do other attacks. Chantress leveled. I'm running out of stats to increase. So on the plus side, I have over 500 HP with Twinkle. On the downside, I don't know how much longer this dungeon is. I'm assuming there's going to be at least one major boss between- or one more boss between us and the final boss. Speaking of which, I like that I haven't had a save since the other boss. I really hope I don't get one shot and die because this is literally like 40 minutes or so that I've not been able to save. I think we can all agree is incredibly rude. I'm actually going to buff Twinkle first because I'm playing as the other spellcaster. So might as well as improve my damage. Uh, Do I think the face thing has a weakness? Don't like that he's strengthening up. This is not good. Just thinking about if it's worth it. Hmm. Oh my gosh, please kill the werewolf. I couldn't heal, by the way. That's what I was trying to do. Will you please let me heal? Oh my gosh. 
Is it because you're trying to prep your special attack? Just let me heal! Oh my gosh, that was so delayed. There we go. Well, I guess it's one way to force me to level before the next boss. Hmm. I do have the minor me- Oh, I resisted it. Interesting. Curiosity. If I do one damage spells, is this worth doing? I mean, you could have a win weakness, I'm not really sure. Some enemies are just neutral. 210, that's okay. I think meleeing was faster. Plus it leads to big damage if I build it up. Alright, so this fall so far is at least very easy. Did I cancel the change form by attacking with something? I think I did. That really did not do a lot of damage, so I think us getting stamina and the other abilities is really stopping this boss from being a threat. I didn't even get like magic de defense up or anything. Like that was just sad. That that has not been threatening to us for at least eight hours. <laughs> Pretty much since we've gotten the AoE heal, I'm far more concerned about whatever nonsense this put out here. Okay, good. She hit the real threat, which is the things he summons. Yeah, that's a nice multi-hit there. You can strengthen up all you want. You're not doing anything. I leveled up. Did... Uh... More in spirit? I guess I leveled from the random enemy. Or the boss also just died. Okay. So we're, we're gonna cross our fingers. Come on, give me a save point. Now I feel like we potentially have a straight line to the boss, but we'll see. The question is, will I actually hit 38? I mean, I'm not leaving this dungeon no matter what. I'm just more curious. So that was a lot of force encounters. 20,000 gold, not anything I could purchase interestingly with that. Each force encounter is about 1500 XP. So in theory, if I have to fight 10 more rooms, I could level again. Well, this is feeling pretty end of the game here. Uh, let's buff needs a haircut. Oh, that's not the right buff. I thought I maybe I moved it back by accident after I did the other spell. Unfortunate. I am going to die because the game locked me in place. Uh, do you mind healing us? I'm gonna walk over here and try to buff. So this should negate any AOE damage that might strike me, and I can strength up Winkle maybe. And now they're choosing not to attack because I moved over here. This is not good. I, I need them to keep attacking. Please keep attacking. Strength up myself just in case I missed. Winkle taking like a million damage. Unfortunate. Doing so much to me. Okay, it healed itself, which I'm okay with. As long as that doesn't AoE heal, that's fine. This is what I did not want to have happen. The demon getting healed is a problem. I killed them. I'm gonna do a safety heal here. Hopefully that'll death cancel. We'll see though. He got his last desperation attack out regardless, though. So I think that would have saved me normally, because I was in the bouncing animation. 1,236 1, XP. Okay, maybe not 10 rooms, maybe more like 7. 
<sighs> I just hate that I have to literally just keep buffing constantly to do any sort of damage here. This is where I wish I would have had AoE spells. And now I'm getting worried because I keep playing as the, the buff character that I'm going to get the party killed. So hopefully this is good enough to survive whatever they're doing. And it swapped too many times because it I thought it would, didn't take my input. Uh... Just, just let me, let me heal. Come on. Game, please. I'm begging you. I guess it buffered my another character swap in between for some reason. Yeah, yeah, we'll screenshot the final area. Can you please let me swap into Durin? Holy. <laughs> like, it like didn't take my input for a while, so I pressed it like three times, and then it was like, oh, you attack twice? Let's swap you now. <laughs> it's like, no. It's not what I wanted. Alright, so it's very likely if it forces us to do more rooms, I might hit level 37. And again, this is way above how many fights I thought I would be doing. I thought I'd be doing at most like three between bosses. Not like literally like eight plus. Kind of unfortunate then. Did you die? Yeah, you died. I was wondering why you wouldn't let me do anything. So we still haven't seen a... Is there seriously another fight here? I, I still have not seen a gold save statue, but at least we did save part of our progress. I would like to not fight these. Uh, of course, never mind. That would have been too convenient if I could have left. And it took away our buffs because it waited for the room to clear. Wow. What a waste of MP. That kind of stuff makes me mad, chat. That stuff makes me really mad. I just buffed. I didn't even leave this room and the buffs were off. They are so much worse than in Secret of Mana. Unless we're talking like literally rank, rank 1 enchantments. They are so much worse in this game. Stuff like that would absolutely not happen in Secret of Mana outside of being level 1 with a spell. Like, we've had it last, like, four entire rooms, even at very low ranks. Let alone literally a screen. I'm gonna hope that this clears up a lot of these enemies. The game is trying to realize that they're dead. I'll open it just because. Auto oil attained. I'm gonna go up the stairs. I'm assuming that's progress. I'm assuming the demon was also mandatory to kill. And I can't use buffs because one of our characters is arbitrarily attacking. Come on, let me just get to the end of the game, I beg of you. All right, chat, I'm just like, <laughs> please no more staircases. I understand it's a castle, we've seen enough. We've been on like three floors. We even went into the basement. Let's have you buff Twinkle. I would like to activate my special attack here. We'll see if it works. I think it did, because I got locked in place. Awkward level up timing. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to hit 37, unfortunately. I'll get intelligence to reduce magic D damage. Raise spirit, why not? Just in case they use summon damage or something. Or holy damage. You won! Alright, uh, so fighting them didn't seem necessary. Oh my gosh, another set of stairs. Please get me out of here. How, how is there, how is there more? Alright. Uh, oh, oh, there's just no saves, immediately a boss. Cool, love it. Definitely not really jarring. 
Okay, I'm going to see if Earth actually does big damage here. Because it's a flying monster, so there's a reasonable chance that Stone Saber would actually be decent here. So we'll buff uh, Lenith first, I think. I feel like there's a non-zero chance that that could actually be relevant. Then she can stat up herself after I set up another spell. Oh, but I can't do it in that. No, I can't do that in that order. She has to buff up herself first, then I have to do it, or else I get locked out of the animation. Unfortunate. So she's basically a max power. I'm gonna do one more after she buffs me. Basically, everybody's damage should be at max at this point, minus Twinkle, which is fine. If she doesn't get a massive damage boost, it should be fine. Ooh, ooh, it has weakness. It's We're doing a ton of damage there. We're doing 300 plus. Nice, okay, elemental weakness matter. Love it. Love it. We're doing literally like 50% more damage. So this should be a fast boss fight. Assuming we can hit the target. Come on, game. So at least Elemental Savers did have an impact on at least one boss. That's always nice. Oh, I got grabbed. Trencher 27 is really not that much damage. Oh, I can't heal because the boss was casting a spell out of range. Honestly, I... Boss is not really doing that much to me. I don't think I'm that worried. And again, we've been raising our elemental defenses, so this should be fine for the most part. So between spirit and intelligence up, we should be taking less from basically everything. Why is the boss not targetable? I'm gonna try to accelerate. See if this improves our accuracy at all. Ooh, the boss took almost 1400 damage without us even using a special attack. It's pretty huge. The boss improved its own evade, which is kind of annoying. I think this will still hit the boss. Yeah, our DPS is like literally about. 3,000 plus every five seconds. Oh. I'd like to not die here and rebuff if I can avoid it. So because the boss can't seem to do more than 200 per attack, I think we're fine for a while. Wow, that was it? Man, elemental, elemental weakness is real, chat. That was way easier than the other bosses we fought. But imagine at the top of this little tower will be our final boss. You won! <laughs> Awkward mid-run animation. Sure, let's get more elemental resist. Let's improve our magic defense. So we still have yet to see a save point, by the way. I would really like a save point before the final boss. Did you really just chain heal 900 HP? <laughs> Chat, screw this game sometimes. <laughs> Come on. What was that? How? How? How and why did it do that much? It did like 996, if I'm doing math correctly, healing. So stupid. I'm pretty sure it would have died if it didn't double heal. And he probably just death cancelled the other enemy. And that stopped me from healing because he C-locked me out of the menu. So I'm probably going to lose some characters here. Thanks. <laughs> right, chat? Thanks. That was totally fair. I love the chain healing interrupting. Yeah, the other character is already dead. Man. Stuff like that is obnoxious. To strength up yourself. 
And while you're being bounced, I'm gonna just heal us real quick. Hopefully we survive another Dark Force if it comes out. So even with that extra HP, it didn't matter. Still got Wombo comboed. That did not unlock the staircase. Do I have to kill more? Or is the staircase not needed for anything? Please stop chain healing. That didn't unlock the staircase. Why? Is this the, is this a save? Oh, just I just want to save. Ah, oh, are we really going back in the castle to go up the stairs? Why? Trials, please. I just want to be done with the game. <laughs> the, I've seen all these enemies. I don't need to fight them again. Like, we're done. We killed three bosses. I would like to, uh... We'll do the wrap it up sign. So we're past the staircase I couldn't go down before. I'm back at another save point. Also, yet another not golden statue. So I still don't have the ability to full MP restore outside of boss kills. Is this leading to the final boss? I'm hoping it is, chat. Fingers crossed. That's our third boss here. Oh, this feels pretty final. We're fighting Belladonna. If she has two forms, whatever. That's fine. I will not let you get away. You killed my father. Oh my. You've come pretty far, princess. You managed to defeat all the Benevidons. It seems you really were worthy enough to attain the Sword of Mana. Imagine my surprise. But your luck ends now. I will protect his dark majesty. If it means my life, I would give him anything. Fight me if you dare. She turned into a cat monster. Cool. So I imagine after we kill Belladonna, we'll fight like the Dark Majesty, quote unquote, and that'll be the final fight of the game. So that's fine. Oh, we're doing ones and 29s? Oh my gosh. That is abysmally terrible damage. So if we are not strength up, this will take literally an eternity. Yeah, it makes sense to buff Twinkle first, because while I'm applying all the buffs, I'm not going to be able to take advantage of it. Although right now, I'm sadly going to have to use Twinkle to heal. I like the, the flaming demon head stuff on the side. It's a nice touch. I am getting absolutely wombo comboed. That is really bad. Let's actually defense up, because we're taking massive physical damage. Can you protect on yourself? I would like to not have to spam heal if I could avoid it. And if that also improves magic defense, that would also be huge. But if it's just physical, that's also fine. So even if she has some nonsense AoE, we now have more defense than when I normally fight these things. Why can't I heal? Please, please let me heal. Please don't make me worried by locking me out of healing. Okay, we're gonna do one more heal and then I'm... Why can I not heal? What is she doing? I... Let me heal, please. Hello? <laughs> Trials, hello? I'd like to heal, thank you. I don't know what she was doing that counted that as no ability to heal. Holy. Okay. So we're gonna be very aggressive here. Hopefully with the defense up, we should be fine. So she did Road Slash, which did very little damage, which is a good sign. I think that means our defense is improving. Okay, we're taking like 36s instead of 60s, so I think it did stack. We'll get one more AoE heal in here. Just in case. So we have pretty good resistance against a big AoE nuke ability. Our magic resistance is not terrible on a couple of our characters. 
And Durin has just a lot of overall HP, so it should be fine. Turn into a small cat there. Bonk. What does that do? I, I didn't see what it said. Did it dispel me or something? I couldn't tell. I, I honestly couldn't read the text. It went by way too quickly. I'm assuming I got dispelled? Like, please let me buff. Thank you. Use moon energy on herself. Didn't really seem to do much. I'm assuming it just means she leeches life faster. Let's interrupt this with a big AoE. Yeah, so our health total's looking extremely good. I guess if I stand at an angle, maybe I'll take less damage from the boss. Alright, we seem to be somewhat controlling her. Turned into small cat again. Getting wrecked. I'm getting obliterated by something. That did not do a lot of damage. I keep missing. Oh. Still missing. I would like to get a safety heal in, in case that we don't get healed between fights, and I'm gonna pop an AoE attack here. That way it should activate no matter what. That's a lot of damage we're doing to her. She is life-stealing, but not like a heinous amount. She summoned... Lamia or something? I forget what that name of the creature is. What did that do? This big AoE. But again, it's it's not as scary as the ninja was. The ninja did more than her, and that was like an area ago. And obviously werewolf way stronger than her. No contest. Yeah, she's just getting absolutely brutalized right now. Yeah, we're racking up a million points of damage on her. What just hit me for all that damage? Uh, okay. I mean, I'll do this and then activate this. Buy myself some time, maybe. She probably doesn't have that much more HP to go, honestly. I'm surprised she hasn't died. It's possible her moon energy healed her enough that she didn't die from that. Yeah, there we go. Changing form on the party. If it's this, if it's the minor mallet, I have a counter. Aha! I actually brought the counter to this. There we go. Look at that, chat. I got rewarded. Oh, rewarded finally for using this item. That way I can get that way I can cure myself of silence with the other herbs. Just in case we go immediately into another boss battle. So, so far, we have a lot of MP. Oh, that was kind of funny. For a moment there, literally every character had 53 MP. Despite how drastically different their totals are. So really, at this point, we're just waiting to kill her here. Miss, 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 miss. See, so yeah, I think as long as we have strength ups, we should be fine. Let's do this for big damage. I'm assuming if I had, like, light spells, it would have been good. I'm assuming I don't have the opposite of Luna, which might be... It's either Dryad or Shade. I'm assuming it's, it's a Dryad. That, that weapon weakness kind of confused me, because I'm assuming Shade is weak to Lumina. Therefore, it only... Oh my gosh! What?! I just got one shot?! Seriously?! Oh, come on.
Come on, I was at so much HP. What was that? Seriously? Now I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> I wasn't even that injured, I thought. I literally just got one shot without a cinematic. Wow, what a waste of time. Yeah, that officially is just really, really stupid. Thanks, Trials. I don't know how, how much HP does she have. I'm looking it up. I don't like to do that mid playthrough, but when I get really annoyed, I will go look it up because I'm really curious. I'm looking it up, Chad. How much HP did she allegedly have? 40,000 HP. Holy. No wonder why she was taking forever. So she has like... <laughs> okay, but it's just, that is so obnoxious. And keep in mind, I'm pretty sure I had Protect on. So I just straight up died. Not much I could do about that. Yeah, that was really lame. Oh, this makes me really not want to play the remake. I'm not going to lie, chat. If stuff like this is in the remake, I'm absolutely not going to finish it. If I get one shot in the remake, it's over, chat. I'm just going to quit and move on. This is the kind of stuff I'm not interested in. So I'm going to go buff everybody, and they're not attacking because I'm the Lance user for some reason. Do this. That was so stupid. I lost track of who I buffed. I'm assuming not Twinkle. And it's stupid too because I'm pretty sure I defense myself like a couple times just to specifically try to avoid that like I hadn't been using the protect spell like literally at all in any other fight and then the one fight I do use it on I still get one shot so stupid all right, I'm gonna reapply buffs I'm based off of how much damage I'm seeing dealt 17 is fine. Somebody's only doing 17. Maybe Lenneth didn't buff herself. Yeah, I think she missed it. Only on low levels. I don't like the way you frame that, Kalvishim, because I'm not going to grind in Trials of Mana Remake. I don't like the way you frame that at all. Because we're under leveled by quite a bit here. I'm like 10 levels under where the game wants me to be. If you notice, I'm not even 38. I mean, I don't know, Calvisham. It depends. If I'm allowed to skip combat, I am not leveling in that game. All right, so we're back at this phase again. Let me think. Is there something else I could do here? Uh, I could do a safety heal. I had a feeling he was using a spell, so that cancelled my ability to do anything. We're like so close to the end of the game. Just a shame this boss is so damn tanky, and I don't have its weakness. At least it's standing still for us to do some damage. So we did maybe a thousand, so I need like more of those to occur. I'm gonna try to move away from the party. Like if I stand in the corner relative to them. All right, now I'm gonna come over here just in case it does the attack again. So that way we don't all die. I think it was starting to do it again. I'm just gonna safety heal. I'm really not messing around this time. Yeah, I don't know if maybe it debuffed me when I didn't realize it, and that's why I took like 90 damage. See, it's only doing like 53 there, so I'm like, how did it do like all my HP? Like, I don't, I don't think I was at full by any stretch of the imagination, but I thought it was at least at 400 on several characters. And we have really good armor. 
on almost everybody except for Valkyrie. Alright, so I'm assuming we got to a new threshold with the boss. Unless it's something dumb like being mini debuffs you, like defensively. Like it got rid of my defense spell. I guess I could try reapplying it here just in case. As long as I'm far away from the enemy, it should probably be fine. So I'm just going to reapply it here just in case. And use your ability to heal. And then I'm going to throw something if I'm able to stall the boss. Uh, good pumpkin. Idiot. It did literally zero. That's funny. Now question, does Undine still do damage? Let's find out together. Yep, yeah, 304 damage. Wow, that... I should have brought in more coins. This is what I learned. I mean, that's not an insignificant amount of damage. I'm just saying, like, that was real. So... I couldn't read the text again because it cancels almost instantly. I'm assuming I got debuffs, so I'm just going to reapply buffs. And then I'm going to apply protection on her again, just in case. I'm really scared to commit to combat here in case I get hit by that BS again. So then you could defense up yourself again. I'm going to throw another one of these. That was actually pretty effective. So I can interrupt certain animations the boss is doing, potentially. Although apparently not that one. Oh, nice. Oh, she looked like she's pretty low on damage. Let's do this. Now that we have a good opening. Yeah, I saw that last time. Let's try to get a safety heal out just in case. So at least I can say I'm definitely at full HP if it unleashes another spin attack. I'm trying to stay at a distance I can react to what it's doing. Only to 37, that wasn't too bad. We're building up our charge meter. Alright, so that did do quite a bit. But I didn't get one shot this time. And we avoided it with the protagonist, which is the more important thing. Yeah, so that probably, it probably just, she probably did it twice and that's why I died. Because it did about 200-ish, which isn't too bad. But if, if it comboed it back to back, that would make more sense. Because I might have been swiped into it, that would have been about 300 damage. I'd like to pop a special here. So again, we're so close to defeating this enemy. I can't hit it when it's in that phase at all. Hexus. So let's just immediately heal. I'm not messing around. Nice. Immediately punish the boss upon spawn. Love to see it. So we're now officially at full HP again. Holy, this boss Oh, I'm taking 80. Panic heal. Do not want to get hit twice by that. Panic heal. Still have a lot of MP. I just need to not get wombo combo, and I think we're fine. Yeah, I got my special. Man, this thing is so damn tanky, chat. It's so tanky. <laughs> Oh my gosh. 40,000 HP on a life regen boss. What a cruel fate chat has chosen for me. Oh man. Let's get rid of this. Resize you. I'm glad I put that in my inventory. It definitely paid off. Please die. 
imagine it can't die while casting a spell. It could already be dead, technically. Nope, still not dead. I've lost sense of how much total damage I'm doing, but I feel like it's more than 20,000, maybe more than 30 as of right now. <sighs> oh, did you interrupt the slash? Oh, that was so good. It interrupted it. <laughs> that could have been so bad. I was not at full health. Okay, emergency heal. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're racking up a ton of damage there. So I'm assuming in small form or big form, it takes damage regardless. I'm activating, I'm activating. I am so happy we went back for weapons. You have no idea. It, could you imagine if I did this without going back? I literally would have gotten here and would it would just would have been over. Like we're doing so little damage currently. It's so sad. And this is with like literally some of our best possible equips as a reminder. Like Lenith has the best possible spear in the game that I could purchase. And I'm only off by four damage on the other characters. Holy. I don't like that I'm in the corner. I wanna get out. I wanna get out, I wanna get out. You know what, eat another coin, cause I don't even know if it's gonna be effective if there's another boss. Might as well just do this to interrupt the attack. So like every time it goes to do one of its specials, we do about a thousand. So I need to witness this maybe about another five more times. Maybe. I'm not sure how much it healed. Oh my gosh, just die! <laughs> oh my gosh, chat, come on! I'm feeling stressed out from the standpoint that, like, if there's another boss after this, I'm gonna lose my mind at how long we've been in this battle. I'm feeling, like, physically uncomfortable with how long we've been here. Holy. It's just, like, wailing on the enemy over and over, and I don't have anything else I could do other than throw coins. Which I think I'm gonna do here. Might as well just burn them at this point. Thank you, Ice Coin. You are actually more useful than I give you credit for. Please die. Oh, 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 oh! I got one shot! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Get out of here! Revive, 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 revive! Please don't game over me this far into the fight, I beg of you. Uh, you need to go on emergency healing duty, or I, I'm gonna game over, and then you need to strength up him, and then we're good. Alright, we're gonna recover from this. Holy. Didn't do that much there. Oh, I need to reapply defense up for sure. And you're not letting me because the game is mean. Please let me reapply my buffs. Thank you. Okay, reapplying the buff. Smacking the cat around. Still have three left. I'm using another one. Screw this. I'm just immediately going to AoE heal no matter what happens here. Okay, what does this do? Oh, decrease max H. Oh, that's probably why I died earlier. I couldn't read what it was doing. I thought it was a dispel. That makes more sense to me now, how I died with the other team. That checks out, actually. That uh, makes sense. I'm just going to heal then. I think I got tagged there, but I did just get healed, so I think we're fine. It's doing a lot of damage despite me uh, just healing. I'm gonna reheal. 
I am not messing around with this fight, Chad. I want this fight over. I'm activating. I'm activating. Oh my god. How many more, chat? Please perish. If everybody chained their supers, I'll be so happy. We're dying to Twinkle would also be hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, okay, didn't die. That's the important thing. Oh, I took 200. Yeah, that's a, I think that's what happened. I think it did the... The, the gold attack into the slam. The slam does a lot of damage. And then I was max HP decreased. That makes sense to me now. So even though I healed, I had way less HP than I expected. Half Eclipse, new attack? Or maybe it's just RNG, which one it chooses. I'm immediately just spamming heal. Oh my gosh, chat. I'm saving a recording of this when we're done. Like, I'm gonna put it in the highlight. I'll be like, the boss that refused to die. Please perish. Holy. I don't know how much your life's- Oh my gosh, the fight is over. Oh. Oh, I'm leveling up. That's not a good sign. Oh god, there's more. After that fight, there's more? Oh, man, I don't even care. I don't think the stats matter literally at all. I'll put it in dex. Who cares? Oh, you know what? Intelligence. Let's reduce elemental damage, I guess. So I think I'm stat capped, so my other stats don't matter at all. Yeah, maybe this will reduce elemental damage. Oh. Master. Dark Majesty. Who do you mean by Dark Majesty? This was once Light Castle, but a prophecy said that the prince would destroy the kingdom. When an heir was born, they locked him away in the dungeon. Feared by all and loved by none, the boy grew up in the dark of the dungeon. He knew nothing but evil and despair. The ruler of Mavolia saw this corrupted boy and named him his successor. Granted Mavolian powers, the boy became the Dark Majesty and destroyed his country as foretold. The Light Castle was turned into Dark Castle, a fitting place for the creatures of Mavolia to live. His Dark Majesty's heart has been shuttered, closed for an eternity. All I wanted was to open his heart just a little. We have to go! The tower's collapsing! Oh my gosh. You know what, chat? We, we are going to... I don't like to do this when I play games. I am going to quick save because if I have to, I am, I refuse, I refuse to do that fight again because uh, otherwise I'm just quitting the game. It's just that simple. That fight took like 30 years. I'm not redoing it. I refuse. I hope I get a real save point, but just in case, because it is one of those older games and I don't trust it, I'm going to save there. That was too close. Father, may you rest in peace now. Let us hurry. Okay. Question. So we are at level 38. In theory... In theory, if I'm allowed to go back to the inn before uh, other combat, I should... Let's replace Siren Claw. It's kind of useless. Oh, I still have some ice coins. Ooh, yeah, let's get more of those. Those were actually pretty good. Bumpkin was okay. It just, unfortunately, they just have really high physical defense now. Um, I don't see anything of interest here. I think the Dream Read chooses whether it's day or night. I think if I, if I had held the Duelist tag, I think I could have leveled into this. But it's fine. We'll we'll live with our mistake, I guess, quote unquote. I also thought we were just immediately going into another boss battle, to be fair. There we go. So let's restock all of our healing. I would like to not do this at anything less. I don't seem to be very close to leveling again, sadly.
I'm making sure all of our healing is maxed. Oh wait, there's no excuses if I lose. Oh, do I not have another fairy walnut? Did I not purchase extras? Huh. I guess I never did. That's awkward. Oh well. Well, on the plus side, if we leave... I can save, but now where do you want me to go is the question. Do you just want me to escape from here? Yeah, I, I did not expect to fight that many enemies back to back. This was a horrendous final area. So do I, like, just progress through the dungeon? Do I fly? I don't have flamey drum equipped. I guess I could see if the other path is open now. I, I just want to make sure. I don't know where our destination is, unless it's here. Okay, it is here. Okay. I did remember that this was a thing at least. So I still don't think I'm going to be able to level or do anything interesting here. Let's just leave. Screw this area, chat. I'm not fighting anymore unless I have to. No, thank you. Alright, we're going to take a safety heal just in case this doesn't immediately lead to another statue. As our party members are somewhat injured. We have two characters above 600 HP, so I should probably be fine. The final boss. Where are we? Oh, this miasma, be careful! E Elliot? Welcome. If you're here, I assume Belladonna is no more. No matter. There are more underlings where that worthless pawn came from. But you three have been quite useful. You slayed the Benevidons, imbuing the sword with their true power. If you wish, you may join me. Give Elliot back. Have you no humanity? Oh, indeed, I have no humanity to speak of. With my own two hands, I slayed the King of Avolia after he granted me power. I am now ruler of the land. For now, soon I will absorb the Sword of Mana and the power of the Benevidons. I will be stronger than a god. I will be a supreme god. Behold, the birth of a new god. True final fight, I guess. So sadly, I think if I had been holding those other items, I might have been able to level and get duelist on one of our characters. No, not the Sword of Mana, stop. This is the end of the Sword of Mana. Welcome, Kirk. No, it's gone. Oh no, what should we do? There's nothing you can do. Power is flowing into me. <laughs> oh, 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 what is going on? The light is holding me back. It must be coming from the goddess of mana in the sanctuary. She's still alive? Hmm. This world does not need two all-powerful gods. I will destroy the mana goddess in a battle to end all battles. I must leave. Elliot! He's gone. What could we do without the Sword of Mana? I cannot hope to win against such a strong enemy. Don't be ridiculous. If you give up now, the world as you know it will be destroyed. Believe in yourself. You were chosen by the Mana Sword. You pulled that sword out of the strength of your heart, not the sword's power. You managed to defeat the Benevidons. If you work together, you can triumph over everything. Come on, let's go save the goddess. Fairy, you're right. I must save Elliot. We have to do everything we can. I'm sure we could do this. Let us go now. Okay, so we would have been able to leave. That's kind of unfortunate. I wish I knew, chat, because as I said before, I never done the Dark Castle before, and I'm pretty sure the other area I never left once I entered. Um... I'm assuming I just flammy here, which I don't have flammy equipped, which is kind of annoying because I was ready for a boss fight. Uh, I'll get rid of Bumpkin, I guess. Oh, that menu. That menu kills me. Alright, let's continue. I'm assuming I just fly to Sanctuary and that's where the real fight is.
I guess before I do that, I could go see what the gear seeds give us. But sadly, I'm not going to level. Uh, and get the class ups. Missile armlet acquired. Cool. I think we already have that, sadly. Magic beads. I don't think we have that. And finally. Dream armor. There you go, chat. Well, that's the only upgrade I'm going to get for the game, by the way. So, hope you enjoyed it. I have enough to get another super weapon if I want to. Uh, it's just four attack. I don't think I care. I will see how good this stuff is, though. Uh, let's see. So I could go to the main equipment menu. I'm assuming Dream Armor is for Duran. And the earrings might be for the Valkyrie. Oh, none of them are for the Valkyrie. Never mind. Assuming you got an upgrade on Shadow Ring. I did not. Wait, did you give me items I can't equip because I never classed up? Oh, at least I can use Dream Armor. Um. Oh, I can't use Dream Armor. Cool. Wow. I, can I can't use any of the stuff we got because I didn't class up. Wow. Not worth it. Holy. Chad, that's what we like to call being ripped off. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm in, I'm not in quite shock and disbelief. I'm just very disappointed. So I would need to get 25,000 more experience to level up again with the other thing. I'm assuming I can't just use the item. I really don't remember how it works. I guess I could try to equip it here. I think I need to have had it in my inventory when I leveled. But we might as well just rule out me, like, just not trying to use it in the first place. So let me think. I have to go to this menu. I would actually like the dual list tag if I'm able to use it. Oh, that menu. And I might as well just use Curse Bottle over everything else. Yeah, what crappy items. Let's see what this does. So it doesn't do anything. Cool. Okay, well. <clears throat> it's fine. We're not going to level like... Um, well, unless it's like another... Oh, well, if, what if it is another dungeon? Actually, I should just reset, to be honest. Oh, that doesn't reset? I mean, I could reset this way, too. It's possible if I have to do another dungeon and I don't go straight to the boss, it might be possible for me to use it. Maybe. I'm assuming there's no other bosses left in the game. So I'm going to get rid of some of the items I really don't need and just equip it in case I happen to get into fights. And then I can... Oh, the lag. Then I can get rid of... Probably candy is the least useful of the items. I don't think I'm going to miss that. I'll bring in the curse bottle, wherever it is. Oh, it's at the top. So no matter what class this is, I'll take it because it's better than just not ranking up at all. So sadly, we got two class seeds for the same character, which is really dumb. Because they weren't different classes, it's just literally the same one. I guess because you can use them to, like, technically buff, that's why it comes that way. But yeah, I, I, I would hope that they have fixed that in the remake. Because that is a awful, awful decision for how to level up again. One enemy, Warlock. Sure. Let's fly out of here. So just in case we're forced to go through another dungeon, I will full clear and try to level 
to maybe finally get a class rank up. But if this just goes to the final boss, then whatever. Skipping that animation. Let's go ahead and land. Sanctuary looking nice. Yeah, that one extra defense is such BS. Uh, I could try to strength up here. Let's see how much stats they give. I have the items, but I didn't have them equipped when I leveled last time, so I didn't get a chance to level up, even though I have the items, because they were in storage. I could have, in theory, gotten rid of my candy pretty safely, because that was the item I didn't need. But we do use chocolates and elixirs, depending on the boss fight. So, I don't know. It's very unlikely I'll level. But just in case, I might as well just kill these enemies on the way there. So I'll need to kill uh, nine more rooms like that, which is possible before the end, but I really don't want to grind. I just want to be done with the game. I, I'm so over the combat right now, chat. You have no idea how done I am. So I'm just looking to see if I could get another seed. That's basically the only reason I'm fighting these. But sadly, we never got one for the other character. Although I guess it doesn't matter because I don't think I'm going to go back to the other area. I guess this is just the level, maybe. I'll take Warlock plus Duelist or whatever. That's a lot of XP. Man, these enemies are so damaging. Alright, let's make our way forward. If I decide the boss is too hard, at least we have that XP for later. Uh, I really don't want to do more fights. Let's just leave. Shadow Z, Shadow Zero, whatever. Let's get out of here. Taking quite a bit of damage. I might just force a heal here. Although I guess... I guess if it's literally the same dungeon, this should be a dead end. I wasn't thinking about that before. I think our real destination was over to the right somewhere. Unfortunate. Man, I really wish I could run when I'm not choosing to fight stuff. That, to me, I think is one of the biggest mistakes of this game that makes it way more tedious than it should be. Run, run and super attack should have been, uh, separate buttons. Really don't want to fight anything here. Let's move on. Oh, oh, they, they unlocked a shortcut there, so I don't have to go the long way around at least. That's good. Small mercies, I suppose. Let's heal, since we're at the beginning of a room. Although I don't seem to be able to get beyond this point, though. It looks rocked off. Let's go to the upper left, then. Yeah, it's not like I can just actively use it. We tried it earlier, Calvisium. It doesn't activate unless I level with it, I think, held. And storage doesn't count, sadly. Oh. Where do you... Where do we go? Uh... Two of me. So at this point, I'm just looking to where the boss is, and hopefully there's not any more bosses. Oh, am I going to die from that? I might be able to save this. Go, go, magic chocolate bar. Don't, controller. I swear if you reselect a target, I'm losing my mind. I think that'll stop her from dying. Oh, no, no, no. It was, it was like a frame too slow. Because she was walking there. If I had managed to heal her, that 100% would have saved her. So unfortunate. Did it like slightly too slow. Annoying. Wow, this really sucks. Please don't make me use a couple wishes here. The 
words not worth come to mind. Oh, just get me out. <laughs> I'm so done, Chad. I just want to beat it. <laughs> I just feel like there's so much padding. Like, why are we at, like, another damn dungeon? Was the other one not long enough? So I'm presuming we have to go up there. I'm just gonna keep walking forward. <sighs> We're taking so much damage, but I'm using best armor. And every time I have to menu and cast the spell, it wastes so much time. Okay, let's move this way. Is there- could I go up here, for example? I can. It's possible I could get something interesting here. Get a heal going. Move forward. But yeah, I'm so done, chat. I'm just like, I just want to get to the save point. I really do. Don't care about any of these encounters. I really don't want to leave and go through this whole damn dungeon again. Okay, nothing of interest there. This might put us on the other side of the pillars, is what I'm hoping for. Okay, I think it did. Mm hmm. This is promising. We're gonna take this opportunity to just AoE heal and move forward. I guess I could double check literally how much XP I have right now. I would have liked to probably not been the Warlock. I think I would have preferred the Necromancer, to be honest. I think with, uh, why can't I? What? Does splitting cancel my menu? Why well, wasn't I able to menu there? That was weird. That's fine. I'll check my, I'll check my other stat menu later. Not one of these. Please don't make me fight healers. They waste so much time. The despair chat of having to fight one of them. If you didn't see it earlier, at one point it healed, I think, over a thousand HP. And I was doing like maybe a hundred a strike. It's kind of insane. They should not be allowed to be like that, I'll be real with you. Visit the goddess statue. Oh, possibly. I, I think I've committed, though. Alright, so I'm allowed to save here. Because all, all the, uh, all the stones are gone. So actually, I'm not even sure how we would do that with the stones gone. Unless we could use it here. Okay, so we are allowed to use it here. Okay, that's good. So then I should become the duelist, at least. Okay. So that's fortunate, then. I didn't realize the goddess statue would still be here, but I guess that makes sense. So him becoming a duelist is good, only because it'll give me potentially better stats. I don't think it actually gives me anything else that I care about, to be honest with you. Need a haircut switch from Gladiator to Duelist. So even if he unlocks new spells, it won't really matter. Um... I guess I could just make her a Necromancer, but it doesn't matter for the most part. So unless I level again, I don't think it matters. Yeah, because I, I don't unlock my abilities automatically, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I didn't unlock any new abilities. So basically, the class level up is just to make myself look cool. I didn't gain anything. Galvisham saying the statue is here. Yeah, I'm aware the statue is here. I know what you meant by that the first time. So yeah, it didn't really help me. Because <laughs> I'm not going above 38. You know what? Screw this. I'm just moving on. Unless I'm forced to find another battle. I think this is fine. I'll change our character look, how's that? 
Yeah, I don't seem to be gaining any new abilities. So unless I really grind, which I don't intend to, I don't think I'm going to benefit from this, sadly. Alright, so I need to figure out where to go. I could kill these if I really need to. This feels like the wrong way, so I'm just going to backtrack. <sighs> Stupid moment where you get stuck on flowers because you can't walk over them. I got stuck between, like, two different sets of flowers. Let me go this way. Try this flower to get around it. There we go. Get out of here. Let's try going to the right here. I'm not interested in combat. Like, again, even if I get, like, new abilities, I just really don't care. Like, that's not really gonna help me. It might help me on, uh... Charlotte, but I don't think Warlock has what I'm looking for. Because I, I think it's Necromancer that has, like, Death Curse and Stat Down. I don't think it's the Warlock. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong on that one, though. I was pretty sure it was the Necromancer that had what I was looking for. Between being able to insta-kill death, uh, or undead enemies and everything else. Oh, I can't cross there. Hmm. I mean, I guess I unlocked a new special. I guess it that might be relevant, maybe. So technically it did do something. I do have a third special attack. So I would like to see what it is. And then we'll move on. Like one more strike. Let's see what it does. Game, I'm mashing it. I cannot mash it any harder. There we go. Good damage. It should save us a little bit of time in the boss battles. Okay, let's just get an emergency heal here. I would like to see how much I actually need to level before I go further, but we keep getting attacked, and I can't look at my status while we're being attacked, I think is what's happening. Which is kind of annoying. As you can imagine, for the obvious reason of me trying to decide if I want to do any fights. Okay, since we technically didn't draw our weapons, I was able to pause. I could reasonably level if I wanted to. But I'm not seeing a path to go through, sadly. So I guess the question is... Do I take Warlock regardless just to take it? Because I'm not sure where to go. Hmm. I think I, I... Maybe I do go back for Warlock. Because the problem is uh, I'm not seeing an obvious place to go. Each room's about 2,000. Also, this animation is much faster than Spin Sword, so if nothing else, I appreciate the shorter animation. So... I must have to fight something because I didn't see a way forward from where we were. Like, I went up, to, I went up, didn't see an exit. I went to the upper right, didn't see an exit. We were here earlier. So I just don't know where to go. So I guess I'll go back to the healing statue for now. So I guess with that in mind, I might as well as rank up again and figure out where we have to go to end this dungeon. So I'll leave another save in case I change my mind or something later. But I guess I'll class up. Just for the sake of gaining a new ability, I guess. Uh, and by ability, means special attack. Oh, because I did it with her. They're not going to like that. Or him, I mean. So at this point, I just need to figure out where to go. Focus harder, yada yada. So we'll make her a warlock just because, but I don't think it'll give me anything that I'm interested in, sadly. Oh, dual list tag. Wait, where's the. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, so using it like that doesn't consume the seed. That's interesting. Yeah, she doesn't get any new abilities, but I could try to teach the AI to use the level threes, I guess, for the sake of using it. Game, please. Thank you. Teach her to use the advanced one. Teach him to use Quakebringer. That way it doesn't matter who I swap as. I'll save again. Let's save, I guess, over this one. Hmm. I really don't know where to go. I didn't really see one that felt more right than the others. Oh, actually, maybe I took the first path, but not this path. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't walk through there. There has to be something I could do. Hmm. Because I'm assuming it's never right that I have to attack across the way to deal with those enemies. I would have thought it was the upper right, but... I don't know. I really don't like the dungeon design in this game at all, I'll be real with you. Unless, oh, is this a path? Oh no, it's not, okay. I just want to make sure. So we killed everything here last time, nothing happened. Just getting hard bullied when all I want to do is move on. So maybe I have to kill something in one of these other areas. I guess we'll move on. So let's see. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Maybe, maybe it's just one of those things where it doesn't look like it, it's an exit, but it's an exit. So I want to double check one thing. There was a path, I think it might have been here. That might have been able to make us make progress. I did walk over here, but was there... When I went this way, was there another place beyond this that I just didn't see? Like, is this something stupid, like I just hold left and go through the trees? No. Hmm. I mean, I could still try killing them to see if anything happens, just in case. Like, one of these paths has to lead to progress. So sadly, Valkyrie is never going to level with a class upgrade. Because I don't see where else I could really go at this point, which kind of sucks. Because the other place just looked like a one-way, and, and it feels really weird if the solution is to kill enemies across a gap to open up the full area. I don't feel like we've ever had a room that's required that prior to this point. Taking insane damage here. Okay, there we go. Stupid. Chat, stuff like that drives me wild, I'm telling you. I'm just like, all I want to do is move forward, and it's just very arbitrary which ones happen to be progress. So I was like trying to think based off of the layout which one was more likely than not to be what we need. But yeah, I would like to just move on at this point. Um, It's possible I might need to clear something there to progress. Let's try to go into the upper left first, though. 
taking an insane amount of damage. Let's heal. Oh, it looks like my healing increased due to the class upgrade. That's interesting. I would just like to get by, please. I would just like to get by, please. Thank you. So I guess that benefited us slightly. I mean, more healing is always nice. So I have 60 more HP to work with. So class upgrade gave me that. Okay, we're making, we're making decent progress. We have to be pretty close to the end. Yeah, I was gonna say, I remember the monetry being somewhere around here, so the path was a little different than before, but not like hugely so. Such a shame, the tree is withered and the goddess of mana is no more. N no, how could you? Are you in pain? You become weaker without the tree of mana. Fairies are born to protect the tree and perish without their purpose, I see. This is the end of the goddess of mana's reign. Mavolia will rule this world with me as its supreme god. <laughs> no, I won't let you. She got bodied. No, fairy. So impatient. She wished for death so badly she tried to go against me alone. Are you ready to admit that you have no chance against me? You should gracefully give up this fight. The world will be consumed by Mavolia, and the new evil order will be ruled by me. There's no place for you here. Shall we end this? Now that I have godlike powers, I will shove this old, broken body and inhabit the Prince of Laurent instead. I will simply wear his body and cast my previous one with all of its horrible memories aside. You only see my true form for a moment before you perish. Oh, hello. Dark Majesty became an Arch Demon. This is what the ruler of Mavolia, the human realm, and the sanctuary look like. Huh, I can feel the power within me. I will obliterate you myself. You know, this suspiciously looks like the final boss of Etrian Odyssey 1. <laughs> I wonder if Etrian Odyssey 1 copied the boss design. Like, we definitely fought Yggdrasil. That definitely looked like a flower coming out of a tree. I'm just saying, chat. That enemy design looks like very, very similar. No, who is causing this pain? Maybe I'll pop up an image at the end. I forget what the name of that boss was, though, sadly, to look it up. No. Oh, we already said that. Oh, it's called Entry In, I think. This ends here. Even without the tree or mana power, we'll never give up without a fight. Not as long as Leneth is here. Without mana, elementals and spirits may disappear. But don't lose hope. You create a new world order. Leneth, Twinkle, need a haircut. You must stand up and fight. The future is in your hands. We'll be with you always, so keep fighting. Uh-oh, we've been healed. You think you're clever, but without the Sword of Mana, you cannot win. It is hopeless. You are finished. You're wrong, don't you see? As long as Leneth is here, the sword in our hearts called Hope will never disappear. Oof, that's a line. Ridiculous. You think your illusion of hope can stand up against a newly realized god? Think again. At least we get a nice music as we play. How much damage does he take from spells? Let's find out in real time, chat. Strength up. Oof. That was not good damage, chat. That was not good damage at all. Uh, well, this is gonna be a long fight, chat. Strap in. We can't even target him still. That's a bit concerning.
All right, now we can. Oh, we're missing like every three hits. Oh. That is really not good. He doesn't do a lot of damage. So I think it's just going to be a really long stall fest unless he just has like insta-kill nonsense. I'm going to try using Accelerate and see if that does help with our accuracy at all, because if, if we're missing this many hits and the boss presumably is more HP than the other one, we could be here for like literally years trying to kill this boss. Let's hope that this actually legitimately is not broken, because it's possible magic accuracy still works. Uh... Uh, did you just do 400 damage to me? Oh. I did not recharge my chocolate. I wonder if I'm going to regret that. I think I canceled her death animation. Okay, I did. She was at 1 HP. Either she literally should have died and didn't, or I got really lucky. I'm gonna double heal here, actually. I don't think I can afford to not be above 400 with all characters. All right, so hopefully this gets rid of our accuracy problem. Then we're gonna have you accelerate yourself, maybe? And I think we're good. Okay, we are hitting more consistently, so spells at least seem to work. So I'm trying to use the tools available to me. We are probably going to do decent damage here, at least. 600. Hmm. So we have a lot of MP. We have at least six or so walnuts. So we can get through this fight for quite some time. I'm kind of... Okay, so we're not missing very much at all, which is good. If he shrinks everybody, this is good. I brought the mallet with me. So this also saves us some time. Really glad we put that back in our inventory because it was pretty useless for a long time, to be honest. Oh, that's her new ability. She's got the giant flail. Uh, so she does okay damage with it. Decrease magic defense, decrease attack. Oof. All right, let's at least strength her up again. undoing his effect. I'm really glad we brought that or else that would have been like a guaranteed reset I think if I didn't have that in my inventory. We're back to missing a lot which is unfortunate. Oh killed her. Damn I was trying to menu. This is not good. Huh? She's moving around while dead? What? What? I think shenanigans were happening there, Chad. If you could explain what was going on there, she just like zombie walked full screen to get in range of me. That was interesting. While well, still getting hit. So we should be at least at full HP on everybody else. I think we got HP decreased, which is a bit concerning. Because that might not be enough to survive the attacks anymore. So I'm hoping that wears off at some point. Uh, I would still like you to spam heal. So if we're even slightly injured, I should be full healed now. The extra 60 makes a difference here. So she got silenced, which doesn't matter. Give me one second, chat.
air rush, that's fine. I was like morbidly curious how much HP this boss had. Please stop rotating. So as long as as long as uh, Twinkle never gets silenced, I don't think it matters. The other characters being silenced is an inconvenience, but I don't think it matters. So potentially to save on healing, I could in theory heal with single target items when that happens. But we still have at least double uh, resources left. MP, I think, to heal here. I don't like doing this, but I'm like, I think from the standpoint, I just have to heal every hit. That was pretty low AoE damage. Again, this is not a really threatening boss battle so far. But it really just depends on what it does in the next couple of minutes on how bad it's going to be. Began to burn. Oh, debuffed everybody. That's what we'd like to call unfortunate. It looks like it's a different color at least, so maybe I'm at least getting some progress made. It's no longer red. Please don't silence her while she's casting. Oh, maybe just because it was blocking. I guess that makes sense. So let's go ahead and reapply our buffs to you. Curiosity. Can I have you throw something at him? How much damage do you do with this? Hundred forty-three. Uh, uh, the, it was definitely much more effective on the other boss. I will say, like on the on the cat boss, it doing three hundred is pretty good given that it interrupts its attacks. But one hundred forty-three, I don't think that's worth it. tried using my special there, but I might have timed it wrong. So, like, we're making progress, at least. It's not healing itself. So all I gotta do is survive whatever BS it's gonna do. Which is easier said than done if it happens to have some nonsense one-shot spell. So according to my quick lookup, it is 53,499 HP. But it's also not really healing itself compared to before. So this might be okay. So Dark Curse, I think, is the thing I wanted to unlock as a uh, Winkle. But sadly, we just didn't level and get advantage of it. Because that stat downs everything, so it's just kind of like a one-shot cast, and it would greatly increase our damage. That's fine if we don't get it. Oh. Actually, our strength looks okay. Maybe it's just Lenith's that got debuffed still. Strength up yourself. Emergency heal. I could probably just throw a walnut at some point as well. Just because. I think I got eight left, so I have over 160 MP to go. So we're still doing pretty good. 
So, so far, the attacks are not really threatening. Thanks to having an AoE healer, this is a lot more tolerable. I think if we didn't have an AoE healer, we would have been in much bigger trouble. But this makes the battle a bit easier, I guess. So it's more just a war of patience. As long as I don't get impatient, I should eventually kill this boss. Since he seems to not be doing anything special. So we're doing about 700 or so between spells. So you could try to do the math with it having 53,000 HP, how long that's going to take. I am going to tell this character to accuracy me so we don't miss anymore. There we go, extra damage. And that definitely helps with just getting guaranteed damage. So like that right there was a, a little over a thousand damage. So you just need to do that maybe 30 more times and the boss battle's over. Although when we get mass debuff, that's so sad. Speaking of which. Did you back to back spell cast on me? Oh, that could have been really bad. If they could do back to back AOEs, I think we just lose. I think there's legitimately no counterplay if that happens. Fortunately, that was just a debuff, so we can survive that. But unfortunately, that means I now have to spend time buffing myself more. Really unfortunate. So because we have to wait for this boss to do something anyway, I might as well just do another strength up. And while we're waiting, I might as well have the other character throw a coin for free damage. Because I got literally nothing better to do. Interesting. I hit it with the ice attack and then it's flower change color. I wonder if that's it. It's trying to prep a punish move on me or something Oh, I think I targeted her twice. That's unfortunate Do I have to do I do have to be a little careful because it is possible I'll run out of buff MP Changing form again Thank you, Hammer. This battle would have been nearly impossible, I think, without this. I probably would have run out of cure ailments at that point, because I think I've done it on at least seven targets. The back-to-back -back no attacks. Wow. Anyway, we're going to tell the boss no. <laughs> right, chat, try this again. That would have been really bad normally. I would have had to have taken a death, I think. Oh my gosh. Can I recover this in time? Please don't die. Oh, I think I canceled her death again. Either that or she is literally the bare minimum needed to live. I can't tell what's happening there. It looked like she was in the death animation. So Rhea, we're gonna safety heal here. So potentially healing 400 HP is pretty huge. I mean, it's changing colors more often, which I think is a good sign. Like, not for our survivability, but for the fact that I think I'm getting closer to the end. Alright, so we should be at full health, I think, on this heal. Because I'll heal more than it did, so it'll put me in a much safer area total. Yeah, 434 on the characters that ranked up. So maybe, so maybe it's also class up determines how much you get healed. So class up healed me for 60 more, but then when my other character got healed, they got healed for another 60 on top of that. Interesting formula. So healing 400 per heal on Durin is actually pretty huge. Versus 360. Because that lets us survive everything. Oh, I should have kept attacking because I knew he was going to use Earthquake. Because now we're in Earth mode. Oh, are we done? Is that it? Or is there another phase? Oh, another phase. Okay, well... 
I, I would really love to be able to heal. You kind of locked me into this animation here. Heal everybody immediately. Please don't kill my characters because I got locked in animations of the transition. Please don't kill my characters. Please don't kill my characters. Oh! <laughs> Please don't kill Durin. Actually, I could save Twinkle. Twinkle surviving might be more important. She's using heal magic currently. Oh wait, no, Durin's literally at 1 HP. Maybe, maybe it's just like the... Or maybe not. I did have a chance to save him. I thought he was actually alive, and the game was like, JK, die. <laughs> <laughs> In my defense, the game definitely pulled a prank on me because he did like two actions after he died. So I could have saved him. I just didn't realize he was actually dead. So what I can do is switch to Durin. And then what we could do is rebuff ourselves. Strength up on Durin again, slash need a haircut. Just took like 400 damage arbitrarily from something. That kind of sucks. We really need to get strength back up on Durin. So I'm assuming we're at the halfway point of the boss. <laughs> she got knocked around and then it said miss after all that. That's kind of funny, actually. Let's use defense up on Twinkle so she doesn't die. I don't like that it's about to do that. Let me also defense up Lenneth so she can survive. Assuming everybody else will be fine. How much damage is this going to do? Let's try to observe the damage number. Only 300? That's fine. So we still have at least... What was it, 12 more full heals before I need to use another walnut? So this is fine. The fact that we're already halfway through and I still have more than six walnuts left is a good sign. The other character is not that close from running out of buff MP. Don't need to waste a walnut on them. As we get sat down, I spoke too soon. Why can't I heal? Please let me heal. Game, you can't mess with me. Like, please let me heal. Please don't arbitrarily lock me out of healing in a boss fight like this. This is not good when that happens. Please don't do this to me, game. It'd be the dumbest way to lose. The game arbitrarily stops me from healing. Man, it's the stress right now, Chad. If that, if that boss gets an attack when stuff like that happens again, we're in big trouble. Another 300. I'm gonna use chocolate to heal here, I think. I still have a lot of single target heal. I think preserving MP might be more important at this point. I wanna make sure we have at least 10 at any, any time to potentially math de death cancel, but let's see what happens. Demon Scream. Damn, it let me wail on the boss a lot. Is that just an insta-kill? It's not. I'm gonna AoE heal because there's more than one character that's injured. I feel like that's the thing that makes the most sense to do. Just to pull more characters out of kill range. I think that'll be blocked, sadly. Oh, that actually did damage. Uh, I'm gonna throw a coin. Who cares? Nah, not worth it. Ooh, that is so much damage we racked up there. That was almost 700 damage, and that's only a single target spell. So I'm assuming she's just going to immediately use a single target attack, which is fine. Let's 
so far. We've had one close call. I was definitely worried when we got locked out. Wait, who's doing one damage? Oh, I see who it is. I can't help them with that, though. Also, sadly, I hit the special attack before I saw the text. If you're wondering why I wasn't attacking there, so I got locked into my animation. And that also means I can't heal or do anything else when that happens. Speaking of which, speaking of unfortunate timing... Alright, none of us actually died, so that's good. Heal us, please. We got a little bit of safety X HP to survive that, maybe. We're gonna try to buff Charlotte, because I think every little bit of damage matters at this point. Come on, Twinkle. Give one more safety heal as well, who cares? You can't do damage anyway. Plus that'll stall for the buff, which is what I want. Oh, you strengthened yourself? That's not good. How much is this gonna hit for? <sighs> Boosted defense? Oh no, how much are we doing now? Please tell me we're still doing damage. Ooh, we're doing half damage? I like that attack just instantly killed, by the way. Just PS, by the way. Literally instantly done. I'm just mashing heal. I'm I'm going to safety Honey Elixir so I don't game over here. Just in case I get locked out in like the next frame, which is very possible. With how fast the boss has been attacking. So I have no way of dispelling this. This is really bad. It's going to make this boss fight take forever. Ugh. You're so close. Hey, let's interrupt. Oh wait, it took full damage there. Did it... I mean, that that's fine. If, if we still do 600 with our special attack, that's fine. I was worried we were going to do like 300, which would have been horrendous. So we should still have enough HP to survive the other attack. Actually, I don't think we do. Um, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to pause, and then I'm going to Walnut Twinkle again. That way I don't have to worry about this in a little bit. That gives us basically seven heals. Someone does not have strength buff, it looks like. Oh, that took good damage at least. Will this work? I really don't want to waste a honey elixir. Let's throw a chocolate. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Man, I'm just not getting any of the death cancels. That really sucks. Is that waste cups? I mean, maybe what I should try to do is have her cast a spell when she's like that. Like, I wonder if that gives me more of an opportunity to death cancel. Like, she was clearly at 1 HP chat when I paused, so that's why she was still targetable. But at the same time, it wasn't good enough. So we still have six more revives. I'd prefer not to burn any more if we can avoid it. Get a buff going, and let's hopefully heal enough here. Lena has surprisingly survived a lot of nonsense despite not being a higher class. I guess she just has enough resistances that she could deal with this. Um, what do we want to do here? Strengthen up on her again. It should work. Untargetable. Might as well throw a coin. Into a super, I think. Or not, it just waved its finger at me. Please don't kill me instantly. Did a lot of damage, but I think due to me having spirit, that didn't do as much as it could have done. We'll take that. Oh, we canceled her getting hit there. That's kind of funny. Oh, or not. Should not anyway. The game keeps baiting me on whether these characters are alive or not. I'm really worried. 
we're in desperation mode, I think. Please stop chaining these super attacks. It, it ha it's getting new colors. I'm going to Honey Elixir myself. We did lose max HP, which is why I'm worried. So I'm gonna make sure at least one character can survive right now, and then we're gonna have you strength up, and then I'm gonna immediately heal with this character. Should be fine. Just should put everybody out of kill range, hopefully. Oh my gosh. Fight. Oh, I took away all of our buffs again. Have you buff yourself? I think I'm gonna not buff uh, Scarlet here because she's nowhere near getting a special attack still. Okay, so hopefully that counters what we just had happen to us. So I'm assuming she's dead here, unless I tell her to heal herself. Can I? I can't force her to heal herself. Oh wait, yes I can. Wait, does that work? Hold on. I think this will work. We're gonna death cancel her. So she's casting its spell so she can't die. There we go. That's the proper death cancel. Okay. So if they have a spell, I can force them to cast it and that gets a guaranteed death reversal. So that saved us a couple wishes, which is important because we have very limited cups of wishes. We have a million ways to heal us, comparatively. Okay. So we, we figured out the nuance of when she gets hit, how to make her survive. So the first thing I should do is just make her spam heal, and then that gives me enough of a window that she doesn't die afterwards. That was big damage dealt to us. Why can't I select other characters? I'm gonna Honey Elixir again. The game is making me worried, because I can't select them for some reason. Took 600 damage, and he survived it, so that's good we were the right level for this. I'm gonna throw another coin. So we're racking up a little bit of damage here, but unfortunately with the defense up and no ability to debuff, we're in a bad position. Although actually, question, what does this do? The uh, Warlock thing? Does, oh, does this count as Dark Curse? If this does, this is actually huge. I can't tell. I don't know what it did and then it just canceled the animation repeatedly. I couldn't read the text. Maybe that did actually debuff? If so, that's big news for us. Yeah, I think that debuffed. Okay. So I guess the mystery seed was important. I was I was thinking about it, whether or not it would potentially do something useful. I think it said we were doing like 400 plus, although it looks like we're not doing damage here. So I'm gonna mash the item menu, but sadly I'm in a super attack again. Which I really hate that the game locks me out of doing things when I'm in the super animation. So here I might lose characters because I was forced to do this attack. Alright, nobody actually outright died, so that's good. I'm gonna heal twice. I can survive a single attack. I can't survive another one of those back to back, so I think I just gotta go for it. No, maybe not. Racking up damage. So tanky. Definitely gonna AoE heal if we can. I've never felt so punished for going for special attacks before. Being locked into an animation and being hit into potentially an insta kill is quite horrible.
So because we cup of wishes her earlier, she's actually back at full MP. So that's actually good news for us. I guess in some ways. So that saves us a lot of walnuts. I think that's also why I'm not using as many walnuts in the playthrough. I didn't realize couple wishes were sword MP. Do you have any throwables I could use here? I don't think so. <laughs> Is everybody missing one? <laughs> Holy. We're doing some damage, so I think this will debuff us, if I remember correctly. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Lenith probably need. Why can't I target Lenith with anything? Let's use a Walnut on her, because I feel like we're running out of MP with her. Okay, now that she's done that, I should be able to buff. Please. I swear to you, chat, I'm mashing this, like, 50 inputs in, like, three seconds. Oh, like, please, please, please let me buff. There we go. So we're only doing, like, maybe 500 damage a spell. So this is going to take an eternity. Uh, let me heal, let me heal. Okay, let me heal with you so you don't die. Then let me chocolate you so you survive this. So we're running low on single target heal. See if I regret not taking candy with me. So she should be able to finish the spell now because I've healed her. I'm just gonna release my special if I can. Please release. <laughs> How did the AI beat me to it? I've been mashing it since before the heal. <laughs> Game, please. Thank you. So, like, we're getting there. Like, that's big damage at least. So could you strength up yourself, maybe? Oh, are we done? GG? Oh, thankfully it was one try. Oh, get me out of here. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, chat. Holy, they were so tanky with the defense up. Unfortunate. Dramatic death animation, though, at least. No, Mavolia! My reign! How can this be? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Barry. Thank you for never giving in to despair. But the tree of Mana is dead and Mana has disappeared from the world. So the villain won, question mark. Also, I can't advance the dialogue manually. I can't exist without Mana. We didn't know each other for long, but I treasured our time together. I won't forget any of you. Don't worry, Lenneth. I managed to rescue Elliot during our, your battle with the last of my power. I sent him back to Laurent. <laughs> like, P.S. by the way, I did this off screen. Don't worry about it. Elliot is safe. Oh, fairy, thank you. I was only able to do it because you were keeping the enemy engaged yeah, for like 20 minutes. I'm glad I just made it in time. No, don't go, fairy. No, just... Uh, oh, no, don't go. Don't worry about me, Lenneth. You are fighting for everyone's future, including mine. I will be reborn as the new goddess of mana. What? Oh, that just came out of nowhere. Okay. Sure. You see, fairies are like seeds of the mana tree. Once they find a worthy person they trust completely, they could become the new tree and goddess. Oh, so they're, they're retconning how the mana goddess works? To bring back mana into the world, I must take the tree's place in sleep. It may take a thousand years. But if in a thousand years your descendants still remember the tree of mana, I will awaken. I'm sure I can help them in their hour of need. Yeah, what indeed? Well, well, I guess it was pretty low stakes then. But until I am needed, I will remain here asleep, quietly protecting the world as this tree. This is goodbye, Lenneth. Twinkle, need a haircut?
May the sword of mana you have in your heart shine on forever. So are the other characters just never gonna see another sword of mana, I guess? We officially destroyed it? Question mark. I'm not sure where like Legend of Mana takes place chronologically compared to this game, but I'm kind of curious. Finale chant. Oh boy, I have so much I want to talk about with this game. We're going to save it for final thoughts though. But to say I'm unhappy is a uh, understatement. <laughs> it's like that was torturous for me, chat. That last hour torturous. I honestly said to myself, would I rather have gone through the final two dungeons of Terranigma or this game? Wendy says, need a haircut, big brother! You're back, need a haircut. Hi, characters we never met and I have no connection to. I'm just so, so glad to see you. I'm sorry I made you worry, Wendy and Stella. It's over now. All of it. Yeah, his ending has like no impact. We literally never met these characters. You can tell me when you're ready. But you should go back to the castle and report to his majesty. I mean, we did speak to his majesty at least. Hero King says your journey was difficult, but it had to be done. Now is not time for sadness. Loki is alive inside you all. His soul is freed with you always. Oh yeah, he died briefly, I guess. I... We don't have the mana goddess to keep the world in balance anymore. Need a haircut. You and your friends will take up the mantle as new golden knights. We will follow you. The future is yours. Wait, what if we don't want that? <laughs> Can we just retire? That kind of sucks. They're like, yeah, by the way, uh, the, the Guardian's no longer here. We're gonna need you to do that for the rest of your life. We didn't really ask if you wanted to do it. You will do this. Twinkle says, Grandpa! Twinkle, you are safe. You can never face your dearly departed parents if something had happened to you. I vaguely recall the Priest of Light. I don't know if we had a conversation with him or not, though. Grandpa, what about you? Aren't you sick? Heath cured my illness. A vision of him came to me one night. He's forbidden dark magic to undo the curse, sacrificing himself. Then, he disappeared. I tried to stop him from throwing his life away for this old man's sake, but he wanted to atone for the darkness in his soul before it was too late. He he. We never really bumped into him again, I guess. Heath! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fade to black, chat. Heath, why did you have to do that? Let's push her off the balcony. Twinkle, here I am. Heath, how? Wait, didn't he just say he was dead? The goddess of mana saved me. I sacrificed my corrupted soul and found myself lost in the dark. But a warm light washed over me and I heard the goddess speak. Oh, he just he just got saved arbitrarily. Got it. The goddess gave me what was left of her fairy life and brought me back. She saved my body and soul. Well, that was convenient. She could do that, I guess. Twinkle, are you okay? Wah! Heath, Heath! Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'll not leave you again. Don't cry. I know the goddess is looking at this and laughing. <laughs> well, I'm sure she's laughing, but probably not for that reason. She goes, wah! Wah, indeed, chat. Sister. Elliot, are you alright? I'm okay. I'm so sorry, Elliot. I should have... You know, I had a really weird dream. I saw mother and father and they look so happy. That loves deaths that don't matter. I die, but don't worry, I'm alive again. I mean, pretty much. And they told me to go back to Loren and help you bring prosperity back to the kingdom. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of things getting revived in literature or pretty much anything. They said they shouldn't keep relying on you for everything, so I'm going to try my best. I feel it just really cheapens, like, the moment for sure. Elliot... Yeah, for me, that's big red flags if they if they just yo-yo between life and death constantly. Father, mother, Elliot and I will work hard to build the rent back into the peaceful kingdom it was. But they'll remain dead because the goddess of mana hates us, I guess. Even though this world is without mana, 
Please watch over my friends and me on our journey. Seriously, they just kind of let my parents die. The Monogoddess just stood there and did nothing. What a jerk. <laughs> right, chat? What a jerk. Thanks, Monogoddess, for not saving any of the characters important to our protagonist. You saved Twinkle's... I don't even know what the relation of Heath and Twinkle is. Person of interest? Question mark? I never actually caught that in the entire plot, by the way. Dead serious. We know the Priest of Light was Grandpa, but Heath was just Heath. I don't know if he's family or just happens to work with him. I don't remember that being established, to be honest. Well, anyway, there's the butt of the Seed of Mana. So I guess we'd have to play as the other characters to see the rendings, which I think is fair. Oh, Flammy flying away. I imagine we're flying straight to the credits, though. Indeed we are. I need to mentally recover after that long, long grind. Holy. I think now that I've completed the game, I'm gonna be real honest, I actually think the combat is worse than Secret of Mana is. Like, I feel like Secret of Mana is a lot more fun when you play multiplayer, and arguably this one is slightly more fun in single player compared to Secret of Mana. But like, if I had two players in Secret of Mana, I would love Secret of Mana so much more than playing through Trials. I think a big issue with it is just, like, when you get locked in place on special attacks, the fact you only have one button, you can't weapon swap, there's not really any interesting dungeon design, it's just kill enemies arbitrarily open path, which kind of took away, like, the uniqueness of the series up to this point. So they traded, like, better dialogue for, like, much worse combat. And there's, like, elements of it that are good, but there's a lot of elements of it that are kind of, like, a neutral or a sidestep, which is really unfortunate. Like, there's so many attacks in this game that are, like, cinematic, pause the screens, and I find that so much more annoying than Secret of Mana. And Secret of Mana was already annoying to pause, to buff, or do whatever. But, like, the raw rate in which, like, special attacks pause the screen and things of that nature really kind of made the combat way slower than it should have been, for sure. So I, I think I'm willing to say that. I'm gonna die on that hill, Chad. I really like the Secret of Mana combat much more. I think what hurt this game more to me is that, like, D if death cancelling was more consistent, I feel like I'd have a lot more counterplay to some of the BS that we have to deal with. Like in those last two boss fights in particular, it was just kind of like, you take 200, you take 200, you take 200, oops, surprise, 600, you die. And there's kind of not anything you could do about it, where like, if the same thing happened in Secret of Mana, you just use, like, barrels or, like, the midge mallet to dodge damage, and that's 100% consistent. Whereas this one, it's, like, arbitrary. Like, I, if I happen to have hit an ability before that, I just die. So I'm definitely not a fan of the combat by the time we got to the end of the game, and I was, like, begging for mercy to not have to fight anything else. There were still problems with stunlock in this game, so I thought it they did remove a lot of like that you get knocked back long knocked down then you have a wake up animation which was a problem in secret amana but it was like the stun lock still existed so they didn't really fix it per se they made it faster but it's still it's still not 100% resolved so for me that's very disappointing I, I will say, though, fortunately, I did at least play, like, Legend of Mana, so when we get to there, I will say, I had a lot of- I had a lot more fun with Legend of Mana combat compared to this game, but I'm really curious if the remake will make it interesting to me. I'm really worried the game is going to be too basic. That's my big concern. If we go into this remake and the combat is literally one-button combat, and then you occasionally hit one other button for Super Arts, I don't think I'm going to finish the game. I'm going to be honest with you. I, it just like, I'm at the point where we have played so many better games with combat and the story is okay. Like it definitely the story was stronger here than Secret of Mana, better dialogue, more characters, 
uh villains kind of interacted with you more often there were less like oh surprise the real villain is this kind of moments but I don't, i'm just not feeling it chat i was not feeling this game i think another big detriment is how much worse menus were in this game so i think i have to apologize for terranigma i was gonna put terranigma as the worst menus of the year uh trials i'm gonna beat it that like four second pause when you're trying to swap items between storage and your active inventory which like normally is like amazing like what a great concept to fix a problem of being like a mix of having too many items and destroying the difficulty but at the same time not having enough for longer dungeons like what a good idea wasted completely by like the world's worst menus and I feel it's kind of sad because maybe because it's I more grew up on like Mega Man X or Act Razor or even to some extent Castlevania's. I really wanted the combat to be more engaging, and I just don't feel like it was. And I, I don't feel like it's an unfair comparison. We're comparing other SNES games and we're comparing to even earlier in the series. Like, I had a lot of fun with the combat and adventure. It was more like the dungeons were a bit annoying due to item management. And Secret of Mana, the combat was okay, but it's like exponentially better with friends when you can like toggle who is doing the stun lock. In this game, I'm like, nah, hard pass. When it's forcing me to buff every room, but then the buffs only last a single fight, like no thanks chat, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling that. Maybe I would have had more fun with mages in this game. Maybe over buffs? I don't know. But one thing I can say for sure, I have 0% interest in trying the other characters. I felt like that last hour and a half was arguably almost as bad as the worst points of Terranigma for me. Because there's one thing I really don't like in video games chat, and that is long, grindy battles. I really don't like that. The last time I had a boss battle that long was Tales of... Uh, bu 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 I was about to say Abyss, that's not correct. Zillia. And I made the mistake of playing on a high difficulty for that final boss. And I kid you not, that boss took me an hour and 22 minutes with no breaks to beat because I could not do like any damage to the boss. I fell on that level of excruciation with those last two bosses. I'm really curious how long those bosses were combined. I feel like that was at least 50 minutes. I don't feel like that was an exaggeration between Belladonna and this boss. That took way too damn long, and some of it is not having, like, class abilities. But again, like, that kind of ties into the problem of the game. Why is your class ability determined by a random seed? Why couldn't I just pick it at the statue? What a stupid decision. Like, honestly, what a stupid decision. But anyway, chat, that's my that's my event for now. We are still going to go into much more detail in the final thoughts, because I think this is an interesting game to discuss, but I have 0% interest in trying the other characters. <laughs> I was like, I am so done with the combat, especially after Dark Castle. Dark Castle by itself took forever. So what we're going to say is we're going to say goodbye to YouTube. We're going to jump right into the final thoughts. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for now. So... Uh, thank you for watching. Sorry the last hour and a half was just horrible, horrible grinding against the enemy itself. We beat it, and that's it. But I'm letting you know this really soured my opinion towards the remake. So this remake better be, like, phenomenal chat. Like, it it better be phenomenal if we're going to play it again. <laughs> just letting you know. But fortunately, I have at least a week to recover. So I get to, like, de-stress between now and next Tuesday. But anyway, thank you for watching, and hopefully see you again in the next part.